imagination is the discovering faculty preeminently. It is that which penetrates into the unseen worlds around us, the worlds of science, Ada Lovelace. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Yes. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, oh wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use.
I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Okay, let's see if this works. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, no. water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Sweet. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Nice. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Oh man, she looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Yeah. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. Okay. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. Awesome. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. No. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and, and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Just... Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before... Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless.
Juliet, Extreme Reporter. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Thanks for the warning. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. So cheesy, but... It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. 
Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. Aunt Juliet looks boy. like she's ready to throw down. Hey, Juliet. 
Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana room. in the room because we're cool. If you don't let me out, I will scream. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet... Ju Juliet Olsen. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will scream. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie.
No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting-edge tech. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. They should call this series aloof, cold and soulless. Kinda like Victoria. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. L I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. This isn't even recycled paper. Victoria's not doing her part to save the Earth. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Speaking of selfies... Speaking of selfies... Juliet, read this. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. 
And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. There's that damn flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. This is both sad and pathetic. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Dana really does look stressed about all this. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of and in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. La la la, I don't see that pregnancy test. Hey, Dana. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max?
Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. I assume Dana kept the appointment. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. <laughs> Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Now Alyssa can savor her bad novel in peace. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different.
Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Who toilet papers a bike? The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. A new surveillance system. That's how it starts. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. I don't blame her. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would've known. You probably could've raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that, Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Daniel posted it online already? That was nice. Congrats. You're part of his online portrait posse. Don't be jealous. I'm sure he'll ask you soon. Oh, you're a wit, Max. It's the company I keep, Warren. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. 
Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal? Now! Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No! You told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the now. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. 
You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Imagination is the discovering faculty preeminently. It is that which penetrates into the unseen worlds around us. The worlds of science, Ada Lovelace. 